Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Uh, today I'm really excited to bring you an update on these uh, flower stock propagations that I've been doing. Uh, these, This is going to be a, about a 100 day update, that's kind of rough. It's been about three and a half months, so we're looking at about 100 days or so, give or take a few days. And I wanted to kind of bring you an update and show you where these are. You may have already seen my propagation video. I propagated um, some flower stocks from a, a B52, a DCXL, and then an A2 Fang that I have here. After 100 days, I just kind of wanted to show you where we are. And real quick, I've got some really excited news for you guys, so I wanted to share that with you real quick before I got you some close-ups of these. If you're subscribed to my channel, you probably know that my dream and goal is to start my own carnivorous plant nursery someday. I honestly can't even put into words how much it means to me that you're here now watching my video and supporting my dream. YouTube just released a new way for people to support small content creators like myself. It's called Super Thanks and you'll see it available at the bottom of all my videos. This allows a viewer to say thank you with a monetary contribution to support my channel. You can send two, five, ten, or even fifty dollars to the content creator, and you get to leave a custom comment that will be displayed as a featured comment down in the comment section showing that you contributed. If you don't have any money to throw my way, please, no sweat. Uh, you being here, liking my videos, subscribing to my channel, and just consuming my content is huge in supporting me and my dream. So thank you for being here, thank you for being amazing. Now let's go ahead and get back to the real reason that you're here. All right, now that we got all that crap out of the way, let's go ahead and take a close look at these. Now, one thing I wanna call out real quick before I show you a close up here is these are going really slow. So basically I had some people tell me that the, the results uh, the humidity that you give these really does not change the results. So what I did is I decided to go ahead and perform a little experiment. So I had some uh, some flower stock cuttings from just some typicals that I cut about a week before I started these, and I decided to leave those ones, uh, the one that I did the week before, over with some plastic over them to give them extra humidity. And these ones I decided I gave them humidity for about a week. And then after I saw those comments, I decided to go ahead and run a little experiment here and then I uncovered these. So I've kept them watered. Uh, you can see there's water down in there, but I have not covered these. These, I'm gonna show you kind of what it looks like and stick around to the end here because I'm gonna show you the other ones, the ones that stayed covered and I'm gonna kind of show you what they look like right now. But, so here's the A2 Fang. You can see uh, I do have some growth coming up and nothing too crazy. You can see these little guys right here. These ones are starting to come up really well. Everything is just now starting to kind of pop up. So it's just now starting to do really well. These ones haven't really had anything yet. We got some coming up right here. Typically the way these start off is you'll see two little leaves like that. And then the next leaf is usually a Venus flytrap. But you can see we're gonna get something right there. So this one's not doing too bad. This one's taking a really, really long time. But as you can see, we definitely got some positive growth coming up and uh, getting some pretty decent results here out of these flower stalks, so not covered. So this is the results, 100 days, not covered. It's actually not very good, not gonna lie. This is not typical for flower stalk propagation uh, if you keep them covered, which, no, spoiler alert, I'm gonna show you here in a minute. So this one here, this is my DCXL, and you can see I had really bad luck with this one. Um, almost none of these hit. All the ones I had laying down here, did not hit. The only one that hit was the one that was buried. And it is barely hitting. Let me turn this a little bit so you can see a little better. You can see it's hitting, but just barely. I just got the one little hit right there. So you can see this, This, I, I would say this is kind of a failure. I think that's one out of four flower stalks in there that really it really didn't hit very well. So that's that's kind of disappointing. I'm not gonna lie, usually I have a much better hit rate than that with these, these propagations. And then the last one here, is my B52. You can see again, I had really similar kind of poor results. These are all laying down. Nothing that was laying down really hit. I don't think that's a hit right there. I think that's a little bit of sphagnum moss peeking out from the bottom there. Uh, the only one that's hitting right now is this flower stalk right here that was buried, similar to the uh, DCXL. You can see right there, it's starting to pop out after 100 days. That's it right there. Now this one here, I'm gonna pull this one out because I, this one is still green. So I think there's a really good chance that this one still hits. Let's pull it out and see if anything's happening here. Let's see. I'll lay it down and see if we can see anything. So it's still green, but I still don't see anything really happening here. Yeah, there's no, I don't really see any nodes or anything on that yet. So even though it's green, 
you can see there I don't really see that there's anything really happening so um, but if it's green leave it because if it's green it means it's still living and it'll still potentially produce some shoots so definitely that one is 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 working so you can see here the fang was by far the most successful uh, none of these were covered again these were all just kind of left to be so this one you can see the ones that are laying down actually did pretty well and they're starting to really take off you can see there's all kinds of little starts there now with that being said let me show you these typicals here that I grew or that I propagated about a week before these and I've kept them covered uh, I kept them covered for about the first 60 days until the the Venus fly traps come up started to look pretty good and then I uncovered them but let me show you what they look like so here we go so this is some typicals that I cut flower stalks off of and I uh, I've kept these covered I've kept these plastic little tubs here covered with just some saran wrap uh, real real basic setup if you want to see how I do this you can check out my last video I go into depth on all the the steps that I take to do this but look at look at how these are growing here you can see the ones that are laying down are hitting I had a couple here that haven't hit but they still have some green so there's actually still a pretty decent chance that the, and I, I think if I remember right, I think I laid these ones in about a month after I laid these initial ones. Um, so these initial ones here, these are a little over 100 days old. I think these are like probably 60 days old. So, uh, but you can see just based on that, you can see how much more growth there is here. And look at this one here, same time frame. I did these ones at the exact same time. And look at this, we have some real, oh, we got a little fungus net right there. Great. Let's see them out of there my ping will probably get them maybe my, my I need my ping right here to come over to the rescue I need my pings to slide on over come to the rescue here come on ping get the nap uh, anyway so look at that yeah look at that right there look at that that's a really really good look at the strikes on almost all these flower stalks I got some nice traps coming up it's looking really, really good. So you can see the difference here between covering the Venus fly traps, uh, the flower stalks when you're propagating them, and then not covering. Uh, you can see that the covering with the, the high humidity in the first 60 days or so made a tremendous difference in the rate in which these grew. Um, that's, that's a pretty successful right there for 100 days. That looks really good. So that's, this is typical results here for me. And then these ones over here are what happens when you don't keep them covered. You get some, but they come way late. And you don't get nearly as many hits. You can see a lot of these flower stalks did not hit. So not only is the hit rate up, but you can see the growth is way significantly ahead on the ones that I kept covered. So make sure and keep them covered, at least for the first 60 days. Once they get to be about this size here, that's when I kind of pull the cover off and I allow them to be just kind of exposed uh, to the light so that they can start to harden off a little bit. Uh, and that way they get acclimated to the light situation that you have, or if you have them out in the sun, they start to get acclimated to the sun situation that you have. And you don't wanna keep them covered for too long because then when you expose them to the light or sun, they, they, kinda, they kinda go into shock and you don't want that. So you don't wanna keep them covered the whole time, but once they get to be about this big here, that's when you wanna kinda start to pull the top off and let them be exposed. You still wanna keep them pretty wet when they're this young, but right now I'm getting to the point here when they're this big that I'm, I'm not keeping them nearly as wet as I used to. I'm treating them almost like an adult Venus fly trap now, uh, as I would at kind of a normal. So I let it dry out a little bit before I give them too much water. If it's really hot outside, I'll give them even more water. But these ones here, I'm still treating uh, like they're, I, I'm gonna start covering these because it's kind of pathetic, <laughs> the amount of growth that I got in comparison. Uh, the fang here, the fang did pretty well, so I can't, I can't complain too much. This one's producing, this one's had a much higher hit rate, at least. They're not very big yet, but at least almost all of these have hit. So I'm just gonna show you this real quick too, uh, cause why not? If you follow my channel, you know that I propagated a whole bunch of pings here. Yeah, look at these guys. So these are the ones that I pulled out of my little carton that I propagated. I pulled them off. This is leaf pullings from my little sethos over here. These guys. And look at that. Look at them growing like crazy. This is all windowsill. This is 100% windowsill growth. This is no grow lights. This is literally just sitting in front of that window where they are right there. All windowsill growth. Anyway, sorry to take it off topic there a little bit. I was just excited about that and wanted to share. I didn't want to do a whole video just for that, but I did kind of want to show it to you uh, while I had your attention. So 
But anyway, guys, I again, thank you so much for being here. I just wanted to give you this quick update. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much for supporting my dream and my channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video. All that stuff helps me out so, so much. I appreciate you, and I really, really can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.